It is March 4th, 2015, and it's like 9.40-ish, 44, 45, um, whatever my clock wants to say. I don't know. It's different than my phone. And um, I got a new haircut. I went to haircuttery down the street with my daughter and my spouse, and um, uh, I don't know. It, with inflation, the price went up, so haircuttery, even though, like, they actually were there before, like, a decade ago, and then they moved or closed, and then other and other companies bought it or whatever, and it's changed several times, but sheesh, with inflation, um, it was, it's supposed to be, like, a $17 haircut, uh, and then they sort of struck me with hidden fees because of my hair length and my daughter's hair length and all that stuff, um, Whatever, I still feel like it did a good job, but the total between the both of us was $64. And I also paid a cash tip. I only had like four bucks, so whatever. But the hairdresser was really good. Um, I felt like I had a really good rapport with her like right away. And um, we kind of like bonded about stuff, about like relatives and rehab and how it's not good and it's stressful, etc. And um, like I really like how she did my hair. I still have like some mousse or whatever in my hair. Um, although I feel like it looks kind of dull at the moment. But um, it's kind of poofy also. But I feel like I'm um, getting my hair cut, especially since my hair is so, so much thinner now that I'm older. But it's thickened up a bit because last year it was just so thin. I mean, I can actually see like just hair instead of like my scalp through my hair. I'm like so embarrassed about it too. I was like hat on. But um then my daughter had a um her haircut and she wasn't happy about it, but when I was her age, I was like that. But she just does not take care of her hair at all. The hairdresser also confirmed that we don't have we don't have any lice in her head and we don't have any eggs in her head. So I don't know what the school nurse was talking about. Um I tried to, you know, clean out her head and everything. I couldn't find anything. Um, this whole morning, I have been applying for jobs, all banking jobs, all of them, all banking jobs. Yesterday, I did retail and banking. And, um, the day before that was almost all banking, pretty much all banking applications and so on. The guy that was the headhunter, his name was William that I talked to like three days ago on the phone, was it three days ago at least, um, he said that he was very good at his job, I'm very good at my job, uh, and then he would send me an email every day, it was in like job of the day kind of thing, but um, the first, the only email that I got from him was uh, the, the, the job that I actually was applying with them for and like contracting or whatever with them I don't know like their services or whatever um apparently didn't even exist and it was closed right I also keep st still keep getting offers for that specific job it's like a job at a Quincy Credit Union in Quincy and I've gotten this job sent to me from other job agencies and I'm like what the heck it's freaking closed so I can't even apply for that. And then on the website, because they recommend other jobs with it, it's stuff that I'm not even qualified for. Like, first of all, I don't have a bachelor's degree in anything. And I'm not a mortgage broker. And I'm not a surgeon or a physician. So I can't do that. And I cannot even assist in surgeries. Um, not that that sounds terrible or anything. Like, I'm sure I could do that. But I don't think I'm qualified to do that at all. Um, so today I was like, because I kept going and I was like, maybe I should just go to the website and try it again. He said there was some kind of chat texting feature or whatever, and that, uh, I could give him feedback, etc., etc. That never happened. He hasn't emailed me anything, and I also haven't gotten any text messages. So, I don't know, should I call bullshit? But this morning I went and um, I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to click it and see if there's any change to the website. Pretty much it was all the same freaking jobs, including the one including the one that was already closed. And then I saw two new jobs, um, and it's by, like, Santander, which is, like, a bank. 
it used to be sovereign and then before that it was something else um so i i um applied there except the ones that they had on that site were um one was in framingham which is way too freaking far away so i didn't really really apply for it and then the other was in boston which i still it's still kind of far but with transportation i could probably get there um and so I did all those, and then I, like, reported to them that I applied there. But Santander also sp sent me an email specifically, personally, to me uh, of a bunch of all their job openings in this greater area. So I was like, what the hell, I'm going to be proactive, and I'm going to, you know, apply myself. So I did, and I had to... Um, Re not redo my resume, but like um, copy and paste, and then you have to like make it fit right. And then um, for cover letters, cover letters are like a chore. Um, I hate doing them. I really do. <laughs> I don't know which I hate more worse: cover letters or resumes. Doing like writing them, but I did it, and I don't. I just don't like the idea of cookie cutter resumes. Um, I don't know why a lot of um, websites think that that's a great idea to do. It's terrible. But um, a lot of times I also feel, feel like cover letters, they oftentimes feel like a waste of time. Because I can't tell you how much effort I put into writing cover letters and like the employer never read them. And I mean never and told me to my face. That is virtually every time, every time I have ever been hired for a job, they didn't read my cover letter except the time that I work at the bank. And I actually wrote several and I had to rewrite each cover letter for each time I had to do whatever thing for whatever interview and whatever like correspondence again. Okay. <sighs> Crazy. But, um, yeah, so I did all that. Um, there's actually like a bunch of te bank teller jobs in the area, which I'm actually really interested in doing. I'm I'm interested in working in in banking, especially teller. Um, even though math is not my favorite thing to do, I definitely can handle cash, and I have been doing it since I have been like 16. Um, <clears throat> it's simple. It's easy. You get to sit down. And you get to actually like talk to people and you can take your time. And um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people that work in banks sort of, they don't, they sort of take a lot of things for granted though because they whine about stuff like, oh my God, I have to walk across the room. You're not going to talk to me on the intercom. You're really going to make you walk across the whole room. Whatever. You got paid how much an hour? Just walk across the room. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather work at a, as a bank teller than retail because it's retail. <laughs> I mean, unless it's for myself, which I have done. Working for working for yourself is actually pretty good. Um, just not door to door sales and stuff. That's I hate that. Oh, I still haven't done the um reference thing for my friend and it's not because I didn't want to or didn't try to I tried but I don't know what I'm supposed to write on it they're asking me questions that I don't have the answers for so I had to ask my friend I'm like what do you want me to write on this like I don't know I don't remember I, like there's things that it's asking me that I, I just don't have any memory of I like, can't I'm not saying it didn't happen it could have but I just don't I don't know uh, anyway, I think she's like in training and stuff and so on. Um, I'm trying not to go on Facebook as much, but because but re, but the past few days, past few days I have been. Um, I don't know. I feel like Facebook is like just crazy. It makes me feel crazy. I don't like it. I just don't really like it anymore. I'm on Google Plus a lot, but that can be a little nuts. But at least that's like, it doesn't make me feel like that feeling, like that I don't like it, you know what I mean? I do have a conference, and I, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure today, uh, later this afternoon, probably. I actually didn't have one yesterday. I thought I did, and I didn't. Uh, there were other conferences, but I, 
Um, I just didn't sit in on them. I had, I had like things to do. So, whatever. There's all kinds of craziness in the news, as always. Um, I don't know. I remember back in the day, like, the news not being so ridiculous. I don't know. I mean, I do remember terrible things in the news when I was younger. Like, I think they were called the Menendez Brothers. There was Waco, Texas, O.J. Simpson, Lorraine Bobbitt, and John Bobbitt. And um, Jeffrey Dahmer, Unabomber. Um, other than that, I mean, I don't really think it was that bad. I don't. I mean, I I just remember things about like medical breakthroughs and um, I don't know speeches that um, governors said or whatever commentary. Um, I feel like people just act like insane right now. I don't even want to bo be bothered with CPAC. I think they're nuts. Actually, I don't think they're nuts. I see that they are. Like, CPAC is clown pack. It's just ridiculous. It's, I don't even, there isn't even a word anymore to describe it anymore. And then there's ISIS, or ISIL, or whatever we're calling them. <sighs> But my computer's working good. My daughter, she does not listen to me. She still installs things and doesn't know what the heck she's doing, which means she ends up getting viruses and worms and trojans and whatever. So I had to go through her whole computer yesterday and figure out what the heck. And I think it was GIMP, but the um, one of the virus scanning programs said that there was some thing in the computer. It's called Windows something, but it wasn't Windows. And I think that's it for today. Maybe I can actually like relax now until my call because I've done like a, a bunch of stuff today. There's nothing else to really do in the job market at the moment. Something could pop up later. I guess that's it. Okay then.